My name is Alfred Darlington. I make music under the name Daedalus. Uh, Electroacoustic experiments and other varieties of amplified sound and sometimes resonators. It's the hardest question ever, right? Like, what do you sound like? Well, what do I sound like today, I guess, or yesterday? And it could be vastly different than what I want to do tomorrow. I just feel we live in an amazing time of possibility for sound. So I like to think that I'd make potential sound, but that'd be pretentious as all together. So I'm just a musician. <laughs> Performing live tonight here at Village Underground afforded an opportunity to present a vigorous sound following Plaid and before Slugabed kind of feel like the invitation to be present with the audience is, is, is really going to be on the ground here today. It's really in the air. So I don't think there's going to be any tunes. I don't think there's even going to be a single noticeable variety. Maybe I can flip in a few things, a few acapellas here or there, but, but really it's the soup I'm swimming in, trying to find an audience to grab hold of, even just for a moment, just to, to kind of hug them or embrace them or punch them or something. and then you let them go again back off the hook, so to speak. That's the best, it's when you can get those moments where you, you swim into someone's subconscious and then mess about, I guess. It's like, if you can all be lucid dreaming, then you're gonna have incredible group thought. So that's, that's the highest aim, that's the, that's the loftiest goal. Rarely to be seen, but when it works well, it's, it's beautiful. So yeah, the monome allows me this possibility of having this endless remix, this endless, mastication of sound. And the more I'm getting from the audience, the more I can put into them, and yeah, it's a beautiful back and forth, in, in my humble opinion. I love the potential. I'm not a big fan of the, the heavy lifting and the dirt of the club and the alcohol and the intoxications. I like a little bit of intoxication, but more of the heady variety, the swooning first time in love and the heartbreak of things. And, these kind of emotions, I like that kind of intoxication, but the actual just like intoxicants, intoxication, is just neither here nor there. But being present with an audience and having that energy all together, it's, it's beautiful. I, I don't feel very, like I'm responsible for it. I don't feel like I'm on stage directing this, this like Wagnerian choir or something. It's, I'm just a passenger on the same craft as the audience is. And, and not to say that I'm not pushing the buttons, but at the best it doesn't feel like work. At the best it actually feels like you're just, you know, just gently coasting and then it gains that speed because there is no friction and suddenly you're just going light speed, light fast, you know? It's, it's nice. So I'm here tonight in London partially because of intention. I'll, I want to be here as much as possible. It's a very amazing city. You never really know what's going to occur. But truly, the audiences here tend to be knowledgeable and accessible in a way that you can push their buttons very easily. I've always dug that, I always have a blast. But I'm not really here on a record, and that's the typical thing. People mostly tour based on the back of a record. I had a record a little while ago called Drown Out. It was a bit of a somber piece about loss and, and death and sadness. That isn't the stuff that people want to come out on a Friday night for, right? So we might touch on that for a moment, just like the briefest little five seconds of sobriety and then just kick back out. But I have a record coming up, which is called The Light Brigade, and that also has a lot to do with London. So as much as people are here to maybe hear my new sounds, I'm here to hear the audience, to kind of hear England a little bit, hear Britain specifically, because I'm doing a record about the Crimean War of 1853 to 1856 that was eventually won, but this terrible charge of the Light Brigade that Alfred Bo Tennyson spoke of in his poem that's a moment of crazy nationalism here in the UK. And if I can like just get a little bit of what's on the ground from that, if I can get a little bit of that dust still sweeping in the underground or something, then I can make my record better for it. I'm hoping to get clues.